What is EDM? EDM is a machining process that uses electrical spark to spark your mold insert. Uh, when this is used, it is used for this kind of rib to cut the small rib out of your mold insert because you don't have a such cutter, meaning cutter that can do this and also to cut those uh, sharp corners that the milling cutter cannot cut and also to cut those deep areas that the milling cutter cannot reach and also to cut a, your mold insert if your mold insert uh, requires some surface texture and how, it, how this works? This works by first you start uh, find out which area you want to burn, for example the ribs and from this shape you build one electrode and then you make an uh, electrode uh, from a CNC milling cut it out and then you mount this electrode on, on the EDM and move it at the bottom then you spark the a mold insert to get the final shape and this will be this is the actual spark of the EDM and the electro is normally made up from made from uh, copper or graphite this is the most uh, popular one and the uh, shape is uh, normally uh, smaller per side compared to more insert uh, maybe the per side offset uh, 3d offset sometimes will be 0.1 or 0.2 there will be the uh, spark gap the gap for the spark and also sometimes your the EDM machine might need to do some orbiting then you need to include also the orbiting offset into the electrode this movie show how the EDM machines do some uh, 2D, orbit, 2D orbiting machining Let's look at the complete cycles. Of course, first you define the burning area. The second, you build a cat model out of the area, and then you use a mainly CNC milling machine to cut the copper or graphite. Okay, and make the electrode. And after you have the machine, after you machine the electrode, you might need to use some time CMM to check again the actual dimension of the electrode after machining by the CNC milling and then next you go to EDM now we look at the data and the documentation that you need to fit the entire EDM cycle the first thing of course you need to look at the uh, mold insert and find out which area you need to create uh, electrodes and then you create a, a 3D model of the electrodes for machining and after let's say uh, per, per mold insert after you created uh, let's say 50, 50 electrodes for one insert then the next stage is to prepare for the stock uh, you need to have some Excel file like this so that your stock department can prepare the stock and attach the stock to the Erowa holder or 3R, 3R holder, something like that, and then punch in the correct uh, electrode names to prepare for machining. And at a, on the EDM machine, you might need also CNC program a G code to fit the machines to cut out. Uh, cut the electrode to the shape that you, you need.
and also you you also need some setup sheet for the machine operator to set up uh, those cutter that you need to use for machining the electrode. And after machining by the CNC milling, we know that uh, the cutter, your milling cutter, always have some plus minus, and also during machining there's uh, some wear and tear also. So the final shape might not achieve the uh, tolerance that you need. Then most of the time you you will use some sort of uh, CMM. You can uh, use some uh, plug on the machine to check uh, the shape, check, check the data, or you can put into a CMM machine to check the data. So. For the check, CMM checking, you might need some inspection drawing to show the operator, uh, CMM operator, uh, what you want to check. And also, you might need to generate some CMM uh, reports or programs to run the CMM machines. So after the Electron going, going, going through the CMM department, the checking. The next stage is to set up the EDM machines. Okay, set up the EDM machine. Then you might need some electro uh, burning list so that the uh, EDM machine operators can uh, gather all the uh, electrode that need for the mole insert and also some uh, assembly drawing to tell the user visually uh, which location the in the electrode works on and sometimes uh, if you have some uh, CNC EDM machines you also need some CNC EDM programs to uh, control the machine to pick up the, the electrode and go to the area that you need to burn on the uh, insert. So this kind of data that you you need on the EDM. Now let's look at all the data and documentation that you need to create to feed the entire EDM cycles. Look at the screen. A lot of data you need to do. And most of the time, you are not creating a one electrode per mole insert. Sometimes you might create 50 electrodes per mole insert. And if you do it manually, I would say it will be very messy. It takes up a lot of time to do it. And also, sometimes it is dangerous. Why? Let's imagine now, you have a mole insert you have a mole insert on the EDM machines and you have already finished machining uh, by uh, out of 50 electrodes you already finishing machining 49 of it and the last electrode the burning locations uh, mistake due to some uh, user keying error then you need to start everything again you know what I mean. So, Simaton, here we have an electro solution that can help you to solve all of these problems by making uh, all the process become automatic and at least, if not, at least semi automatic. That will be our Simaton electrode solutions. Our Simaton electrode solution is very unique compared with other software. We are the first software to come up with these electrode solutions. And most other software, they can only work on closed solid object. In Simaton, we can work with open solid, we can work with surface. Next, I will do a live electrode demo and show you how Simaton 
uh, will create this kind of data and documentation automatically by our electro solution by using this call insert. Next, I'm going to show you how to create some electrodes. Select this icon here, the wizard. And if you have ideas, SAT or parasolin or steps, you can always import from this icon. Uh, if you want to open the existing document, just open this. I'm going to choose this call. And this is the name of the assembly, the electro assembly. And here you have option to create a new folder. Uh, this option will uh, put all the electrode into one folder. So this is the folder name. If you want to change the location of the folder, select this icon here. And this is the MM. And preference is allow you to change some standards, for example, names, okay, things like that. I'm gonna not going to touch on the standard now and click OK. And what happens is Matron will automatically load the component into a electro assembly file. Before we create an uh, electrode, we must uh, finalize our setup UCS. Uh, for now, the UCS is at the center. There is red color here. Let's say now I don't want this UCS as, as my setup UCS. I want to put it at the corner over here. How to do that? Uh, what you need to do is, is go to UCS and center geometry. I'm going to select this whole insert. And let's say I will put somewhere over here. And OK. Then I will rename this my setup. And active, activate this UCS. So, so once you activate the UCS, all the electrode reference will follow this UCS over here. So I'm going to use a uh, UCS filter here to off some of the unwanted UCS and now I'm ready to create electrode I'm going to go to the top view and then I'm going to uh, create electrode over here at uh, this rib so what uh, I need to do is to click the extract electrode and then click somewhere on the screen and then resize the brand. Then after the burning uh, area is automatic highlighted, you just press me the button to accept the burning area and then you can center the to the selections and Again, you can fit to the selection to adjust the size. And over here, you still you can, you can uh, change the length and width of the blank if you want. And you can see the XY position now is 276.3939. Uh, so it is good to round this uh, figure for the position. So I'm going to round it to 276. And this one, I will, I will round it to 250. And since this is a quite simple shape, so I can go and uh, select the template, apply from template, and I'm going to change my template. And make sure you have copied the the demo folder into a C uh, electro template, and I'm going to choose uh, some of the template over here, a setting template, and I'm going to use this. Uh, template here create some electrode something like this and then click OK and then just click OK and there you are
So what is a template? Electro template consists of information, for example, what holder you are using. Okay, what color is the blank, where you want to do the chamfering, what color is the extension surface, and how you want to extend the surface, and what color is the burning surface, what color is the contour, and where do you want to put your reference uh, electrode UCS. So, the, this is the electrode template, it consists of everything. So, if everybody create the electrode by the template, the standard will be maintained. Now, let's look at this location. Okay, so uh, we're going to use this the same lector to. Uh, do an EDM at this location also. So I'm going to add another location for this electrode. How to do that? Uh, just go here and right click add locations. And you have the options uh, by points or UCS. This is normally what I use. And then immediately the model will change into the wireframes. And what I need to do is to select a three point for reference one point here, another point here, and the third point here. I'm going to select the same. After you select this three point, make sure you press the middle button of the mouse to accept then the, the destinations. Okay. Then okay. So now I've add one location to this area. So we have one electrode that EDM at two locations. Next, uh, I'm going to create create one electrode over here at these locations. So uh, go to click extract beside the brand. Press middle button to accept the surface. Middle button of the mouse to accept the burning surface. So after you selected all everything that you need. Then I can send the, the selections and feed the selections to resize the brand. And again, I can uh, round out the figure to 397 and this one 371. Uh, since this is a very uh, complex uh, electrode, uh, we cannot use a template now to automatically uh, create the electrode. So in this case, we choose no template and click OK to extract the surface and then I will activate this this lector let's hide the component and we're going to do some work over here so next thing that I, I will do is I will create an auto contour around this location and do a bound face by the auto contour and then I will stitch of this space together and then I'll remove the area that I do want this is the area that I don't need for electrode okay and then I will close the open gap by close open gap special function in E and I'm going to choose new face like that then I'll remove this geometry here 
So now the shape already become uh, simplified. Okay. So for the next stage, how to create a blank UCS things like that, I can always continue back by using the template. So from here, I can choose from template which template I want. So maybe I will select uh, this option here. And now this electrode is done. Okay. So due to the coloring, uh, the this electrode you have a standard color code. So you need to assign this uh, brown surface to the cyan color. So I'm going to use this to pick up the color of the sur extension surface. The red surface is the burning surface or the cavity surface or the part surface okay the red surface is very important for us uh, that is the area that we need to machine uh, machine and must obtain a very good finishing because that is the area that touch the workpiece like that okay so now the Lecture is done. So for this demo, I just create uh, only three electrodes over here. So let's assume uh, you have created maybe ten or fifty uh, electrodes. The next step you need to do is after you create the electrode, you need to do some EDM setup. Go to right click the electrode and choose EDM setup. So for EDM setup, you can uh, choose what kind of machine you want to set up. Okay, so this EDM setup will output a the CNC EDM code. Uh, or CNC EDM uh, program for the machine to run. So I'm going to choose the standard. Here you can uh, set like some information. Okay, uh, what is the material of this insert? I would say steel, and if you can give some command and etc. Then for electrode, for the first electrode, you can decide. You know. Uh, how many uh, roughing electrode you want and how many uh, finishing electrode you want so I say this one zero this one zero okay I'm going to uh, have one roughing with a 3D orbit or 2D orbit this is options you can uh, specify the orbit size here, this is 0.1, bar cap maybe is uh, 0.2, and etc. This one is an additional offset for settings. And um, here again for finishing, maybe I'll choose a uh, no 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 orbiting uh, with a smaller spark cap and some settings, and also. You can define what type of material that you want to use for the uh, electrode. So let's say I would say use a rough graphite. This is use a fine graphite. Okay. So same also for this. You can change these options. Beside this, you have the location settings. This is the value that uh, the reference of the electrode and after you set everything you actually can uh, output okay output everything into a file let's output again so this is the file so if you choose a Chamil, this this will be the uh, CNC code for the Chamil. If you choose Makino, this will be the CNC code for the Makino.
Now let's say uh, you have already finished maybe 50 electron or 60 electron or 100 electron and next you want to create some assembly drawing and some inspection drawing. So in Simmaton how to do that? Uh, we just right click over this location and you just select all drawings and Simmaton will automatically uh, create all the drawing uh, by itself. So since I only have two electrode here, so I have two inspection drawing and one assembly drawing. So let me open up the drawings. This will be the assembly drawing for the all the electrode. So here we only have two electrodes, so it will show you only two. So if you have ten, you will show all the tens over here and labeling is here and uh, this burning locations so this drawing is automatic uh, created uh, if the format is not good for you you can always change your own format how you want to display the view uh, next I'm going to open up for example the inspection drawing This is the inspection drawing. So, show you some dimension for the inspections, some dimension for the inspections, and where is the reference, reference locations, and display the spark gap, things like that, orbit, orbiting, what kind of orbiting you use. So, this will be the uh, Uh, inspection drawing for the first electrode or uh, for a second and this is the inspection drawing for the second electrode so you can see that just now I have created this this all of this drawing automatically. Now let's say you have finished uh, create uh, all the electrode. Maybe you have 50 electrode. Uh, so next uh, you might need to create some Excel file to create a blank list and a burning uh, electrode burning list. So this is the information, electro parameters, and this is location parameters. If you want to, you can always customize this column to on or off certain information that you, you want to see or you don't want to see. And let's say I'm going to output this electro parameters here and name it as my blank. List. and this blank list contains the names and a lot of other information uh, I think the most important is the names and the size of the blank so that you can send this excel file to the stock department to prepare for the blank okay for the blank with the Iroha, with the correct Iroha holders and the assigning of the correct uh, electrode names into the blank or the holder. And beside this, uh, you can also output the location parameters. Burning list into an Excel file. So this file you you can use for your EDM uh, 
operators to do some checking or things like that. So it contains all the reference positions of the electrodes. Next, I'm going to show you how how to machine some uh, electrode automatically, even even by uh, by by axis machines. Yeah. So first, uh, this is the electrode that I'm going to cut it automatically by the NC template. And first, I'll activate this uh, electrode, and then I'll go export to NC. And then the reference UCS, I'll use a uh, standard electro UCS. And this will be the electrode that I want to cut. And next, I'm going to apply a template. Uh, so, cam and slip job electrode, electrode and template. Okay, so uh, here I have different uh, NC template for different type of uh, electrodes. Maybe for this one, I'll choose this one. After we apply a template, then automatically will create all the required process to cut this part and also automatically create the cutter that we are going to use to uh, cut this part. So the next step what I need to do is to assign the stock to tell Simaton what is the exact stock of this uh, electrode. And then just like the whole TP and execute. That is all. No need to do any setting at all. Simulator will know will know what to do. I will save this after the executions. And next is, of course, after calculate the two two path, then you can uh, pose to pose to convert these lines here into G code and send it to the machines. And also, uh, for beside the G code, you might need some NC setup sheet. For this in Simaton also is automatic. You just come here. Let's hide this and go to NC report. And this is to capture the pictures. And then uh, I'll choose where to save the report. I'll say inside D training folders. Here and then click OK to create the NC setup report automatically. And this is the NC setup report. This setup uh, NC setup sheet it can be in uh, HTML, uh, in Excel or PDF mode. And the format if you don't like it you can customize according uh, your need. Next, we will look at the machine simulations. I'm going to use the SSM uh, 400 machine, Nikon. This is the Simaton machine simulator. So if you want to fast forward, we can fast forward.
Now it's uh, cutting the second roughing, doing the second roughing to rough up the excess material at the corner. Now this is the finishing process. You can speed it up. So uh, the user can use this. Uh, the user or the machine operator can use this uh, simulator to check how the machine cut the part. And how to set up a part. In Simapong, we can create an uh, animation file, a standalone animation file to attach with your um, electrode so that uh, if your machine operator want to see. Uh, how the machine cut this electrode, they can open the file directly. No need to open Simacom. This is the file, the animation file that we uh, saved just now. So the operator can, a can uh, at any time come and open this file to look at the animation, the simulations, without uh, opening Simacom. Next, after we have the program, things like that, uh, we need to generate some PCMM program or report to check this electrode after we machine this electrode out. So, uh, here's the functions, the CMA function here, attach label. Okay. So what I need to do is just select the plug that uh, I want to use and then key the OPGM as bucket value. It will automatically be done inside the report. Then uh, next thing is, is to press meter button and then uh, select where you want to touch. I can choose a 5-axis or 3-axis approach. In this case, I will choose a 5-axis approach. Second point, third point, and maybe I'm going to touch somewhere here at the top. There you are. So you can show the table to see the, the points. Okay, so from here you can animate. How the block will move. If this is OK, you can just click OK. And then to generate report, you can go to CMM, create report. Okay, you have the option to create a CMM report. This is some CN CMM code. And this is the CMM code for the machines. And you can also generate the Excel report also. Let's say I'm going to choose Excel 203. And choose a template. You can customize a template, the format, the uh, report format that you want to be used for this report. And then click OK. And this is the Excel report, the CMM report. For the CMM. Now, after seeing how Simatron Electrode Solution automate your electrode designing cycles, your EDM cycles, summary. Simatron is the first software to come up with this electrode automation solutions. Until now, 
is the most major in the market compared to other software that copy us some time ago. And we are very confident if you fully utilize our electro uh, solutions, you can save up to 70% of your design time. The software is easy to use and you can customize with your own needs. Smartphone. Smartphone is not just a CAD software for you to draw your electrodes. We cover everything, the entire EEM cycles, from designing the electrode to machining of the electrode and to the EDM of the electrode. And uh, it covers the CMM also. For all the documentation, Simaton make it automatic. For the NC, for milling, we make it automatic. We make uh, by using the NC template. Simaton will automatically cut your electrode for you. And also, we make a lot of things uh, become automatic. If not, semi-automatic. For complex part, we can support very complex part. Compared to other software, other software can only support uh, closed object. We can support open objects, very complex surfaces, things like that. 